section 5.1 we're just going to go over some more examples to get some practice in this so number one we want to look at all of the like terms we want to combine them so I have negative 8y and a positive 9y and whenever I add those together I'm going to get positive 1y plus 4y to the 6 now I cannot add a y term to a, and a y to the 6 term so my answer is just going to be 4y to the 6 plus y and this is written in descending order according to the y variable because this one's to the 6th power and this one's only to the 1st power both answers are correct uh, this is just a, a more I guess a proper form you would say to write it in descending order it's just a good habit to get into number two we want to add all of our like terms, so I want to add this xy squared term to this xy squared term. And I want to add those together. I get negative 6, and then I keep the x squared y. Then I want to add my 4x minus x is going to give me positive 3x. And then I have just this fraction, this constant left over so I cannot leave it off so I have negative 11 fifteenths and this is going to be my final solution number three we're going to be adding uh, like terms just specifically adding so when I add all my x terms actually I'm going to move it over there with it so I'm going to line them up sometimes that helps x squared and then I'm going to put my 9x term here and I'm going to put minus 7. So basically I just shift it over so I can add down 9x squared plus 13x and then minus 14. Make sure your final answer doesn't have any more terms that can be combined before you finish. Number 4, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to line it up underneath it. So it's going to be x squared plus 6x minus 3 add down there's a known one there so it's going to be 7x squared plus 11x plus 4 and number 5 likewise it's already lined up in that format so we're just going to drop down negative 2x squared add 3 plus 2 and get 5x minus 12 so adding like terms very a uh, simple idea and concept. We just went through about five examples there. We're going to continue on some more examples on the next page. Okay, we're going to be subtracting. Subtracting, first thing, we need to distribute this negative. So that becomes a negative 8y squared. And then this becomes a negative times a negative is a positive 7y. And then when I to distribute the negative down there, you get a negative 2. And now we want to add down. When you add down, you're going to get y squared, these cancel, plus 3. So my answer is just y squared plus 3. On number 7, I want to do the same thing. I want to distribute the negative here and line them up as I go. Negative 2x cubed. A negative times a negative is a positive 6x squared. A negative times a negative is a positive 4x and then minus 3. When I add down I'm going to get 7x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8x minus 10. Right there. Number 8 I'm just going to add down so I have 5x squared plus 22x plus 16. Number 9, I'm only going to work with two terms at a time so I don't get confused. So I'm going to start with 7x squared and I'm going to move negative 3x squared underneath it. That was this one. And I'm going to move negative 2, which is this one over here. I'm going to do 7 minus 3 is 4x squared minus 7. Now I want to add this value. We'll subtract 
this one. So remember with subtraction, we said we're going to distribute the negative first. So then that becomes negative 4x squared. And then a negative times a negative is a positive 7, and we want to add down. Well, this cancels, and this cancels, so we are left with 0. Our solution is just 0. Our last and final section is going to be when they give us the function p of x, which is this, and the function q of x, which is this one, they ask us to make substitutions. They say when you enter this in the p of x function, when you plug 7 in for x, what's your solution? The p tells me to use this p function, which is defined by x squared plus x plus 1. Now if I put a parenthesis everywhere x is at, and now they ask me to substitute 7 everywhere x is at. So I'll go back and put a 7. 7 squared is 49 plus 7 plus 1. And that's going to add to be 57. So P of 7 is, not, is 57. Number 11 says go to the Q function. Our Q function is defined by... 5x squared minus 1. Everywhere x is at, I want to put a parenthesis. And now they want me to substitute q of 4. So I'll put a 4 in everywhere x is at. And we're going to do order of operations. It says do parentheses and exponents first. So we need to do 4 times 6, 4 times 4. That's 4 squared is 16. Now in order of operations, we want to multiply before we um, subtract, so when we multiply we're going to get 80, 5 times 16 is 80, and then subtract 1 to get 79. And our last problem is Q of negative 10, that means go to the Q function. 5X squared minus 1, everywhere X is at, put a parenthesis. I'm going to substitute negative 10 in there, so that becomes 5 times. Now, order of operations say we square this first. Well, negative 10 squared is negative 10 times negative 10, which is positive 100. Multiply before you subtract. 500 minus 1 is going to be 499. And that's all. That was just some extra problems to review and to see more examples.